Hello, hello, hello! We're back in Starbound for a look at the fracking universe mod. We're just going to play around with it for a while. Nothing big, nothing major, not a new landmark series, because the mod has been around for a while. But I've always meant to get round to it. Uh, this is the fracking universe mod, but there's also the fracking music mod, which adds a bunch of new musics to the various new biomes and things that you find. And also the fracking racers mod, which adds a few race-specific things. I think my Apex guy, Spoiler Ape, I believe he has a few things like if he's in a jungle he's happier and he might have less immunity to electricity or stuff like that. Um, anyway let's leave the asteroid base behind because we're not going to be doing much there hopefully. What we are going to do is find some new planets and stuff. If you go to the console, I've had a very quick play around with this for like 10-20 minutes um, just to see what's going on but I've tried to keep it all a bit of a surprise for myself. I'm currently orbiting some crappy place with, I'm on a forest planet however, um, nothing particularly exciting. These are the regular planets because at the moment, uh, um, since installing the mod, I haven't gone very far away from where I started. And you only start to see the new biomes once you get further away and the game has to generate things. So if we go a bit further down from my ship, you start to see things like blue stars, black stars, and fiery stars, which are all very familiar, and various other things as well. Actually, mainly blue and black stars, but also a dying star. Um, if we go around there, look, um, all kind of weird planets and unknown planets, a life of a desert moon. A strange sea. And some of these will require new versions of EPPs. Toxic materials. Oh, all very strange. Uh, for now, what we'll do is, I think the very first thing you have to do um, is craft the Come Visitors pamphlet thing, me Bob. Um, one pixel. And it basically tells you... Uh, yes. Whatever. <laughs> it basically tells you to use sail to visit the science outpost. I'm not going to do a major sort of like, um, here's how the mod actually works and everything like that, because that's been around for a while. So we, this is going to be more of a just like a, a let's play rather than anything. So I'm not, I've already had a bit of a play around with this sort of stuff. There's a hell of a lot of crafting stations here. It is very much like the normal outpost, only using the new sorts of crafting stations. So you've got your matter assembler, which um, creates absolutely loads of different stuff. Uh, and various other bits of new furniture and various matey boys. So, uh, she watches me sleep. Ooh, that's creepy. A fission furnace. So you have various new versions of what's already in the game, plus various other things as well. So I will just own oh, what I'll do first, actually. Yes, let's um, accept that. Oh, there's, um, there's bees and boos and all sorts of other things as well. Let's just go quickly go over here. A cloning lab. You can insert saplings that you grow for reasons. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is very much like the outpost. It's got its own quests. And it tells you how to make a matter assembler, which we've already seen. But we're going to make a little lab on... I think we'll just stick to our ship for that. So build one on your inventor's table and bring it here. So go back to the ship. Already got an inventor's table set up here. Um, this is my... <laughs> this is my upgraded ship, a finely upgraded Spoiler 8 ship in this alternate timeline which is just going to be used for the mod. The mod apparently does destroy your players and worlds so you can't go back after you've installed it so this is effect effectively a backup alternate timeline that we're using. So what do I need? I want to make a matter assembler but I need to make iron and copper as well so I will actually need a furnace as well. Um, actually I might just use the one that's on the thing. Um, I should just get... Can you, no! Go away. What have I actually got in my inventory? Have I got any iron or copper? I've got... Yeah, I've got some I've got some copper ore and some, some tungsten ore. Oh, that's not great. I might actually have to go down to the planet and get some. Oh. And then we'll have to build a furnace and all sorts of stuff. So I'm not going to spend too much time doing this. I'm just going to show you an example of what's going on. And this is, I mean, getting copper and everything is just trivial starbound stuff. But this is something I noticed last time. When you're actually just tootling about the place, it actually makes you learn absolutely shitloads of new stuff. Even if you find basic materials such as coal. Oh, actually, not in this. Maybe not coal, actually. Oh, it's those. Ah. Let's go away. In this, in this uh, mod, darkness is complete. As you can see, it's most disconcerting. Um, so yeah, as you as you go down, you just start to discover new things. I've discovered water for the first time. It's given me a quest, but I'm going to actually drown. So <laughs> I'm not going to stay there for long. But yeah, there will be new materials in the planet. Even if this is the normal planet. There will be new materials to find as you keep on going. 
Um, actually, I'm going to drown. Uh, magnesium. You see, there we go. I've just found magnesium here in this utter darkness. Uh, oh dear, this is not good. And I found some unrefined conglomerate. And I can craft phosphorus. Yeah, there we go. Now I can see. And, yeah, there we go. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there's some copper. But yes, I mean, even on the regu regular planets, you will start to find new stuff. Okay, so I've pretty much um, sorted myself out for copper and iron, using them in a new furnace. So, let's go and do our matter assembler. Uh, got plenty of manipulator modules from various things. Let's craft there. And now we can build our very own thing that we saw back on the science outpost. Um, you've taken your first steps in fracking universe. With the matter assembler, you will branch out in a wide assortment of lab stations and equipment, as well as crafting resources. Yep, so it's all about that, really. Just um, finding new materials on various planets and building bit bigger and better and more exotic machinery. So there's a hell of a lot to do. But yeah, we're not going to do too much crafting because it's not the, <laughs> the world's most exciting thing to watch. Um, yep, a crafting station which I've now learned to do, and all sorts of things which I can't quite do at the moment because of look at those um, requirements. Stuff that I you can't def you definitely can't do in well, actually you can do that one, but <laughs> you can't do in normal Starbound. This also allows you to craft various new EPPs as well to survive on some of the planets, uh, which should in theory not be that difficult to actually do with some of these. Carbon, ah, okay, so that will be a bit of a progression thing to do. Uh, anyway, um, enough of that. Let's go and explore some new biomes and planets and things like that. Let's go to the Dying Star. What? A proto-world? Okay, we need proto-poison protection. So we're not going to be able to... Get out of the way! Get... Stay! We won't be able to go there. Unknown readings. I gle oh dear, let's not go there. Actually, let's. Let's see what happens when we go to the unknown place. <laughs> Whilst we're doing it, I will do that copper wire um, quest thing that I think we got. Oh, we only needed one. And try building a few more basic goods such as coil circuit board and um, oh, an extremely useful extraction lab. Um, and a new quest to do some other stuff. An um, extraction lab. Oh god, there's, all, there's stuff up here as well. Food locker, gene storage chest. And the extraction lab there, which requires a bit of glass. Uh, let's quickly do that. And we need some glass. Glass. I think that just requires a bit of sand. Various um, kinds of glass to make, because I think there's different kinds of sand in this. And just quickly build the um, extraction lab. This is apparently a very important thing that you need to make quite early on. Um, you can basically bung things in there, like crap things, and good things come out. Furniture. There we go. Let's put that up there, where there's... A little bit of space. So it says you should put some dirt in there. I don't quite have enough. He wanted 50. So let's try putting in some wood. And we get methanol out of it. Booze, basically. A natural alcohol. Methanol can be used in a variety of ways in your lab. You'll likely want a decent amount of it. You bet you best get it from extracting, hey, wood. Excellent. So presumably you can put in it. I think it encourages you to experiment in this. So you can put in probably. Let's see what happens if you put in water. Oh! <laughs> a lot! Um, hydrogen. Alright. Um, I can craft a flame turret. Ooh! And some oxygen. Uh, a type S survival pack. And some sodium. Oh god, I'm learning loads! Oh, I can make some fertilizer. Good, I can make some poo. Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. That's cool! Salts as well. Oh, God knows. Okay, let's just beam down. There's too much crafting to learn. Alright, you can come with me. I forgot I asked. Oh, look at the bioluminous mushroom thing in me, Bobs. Also, this is slippy. Yeah, underfoot is slippy. There we go. I'm going to require a lot of torches for this, I think. Oh, it's all red. Oh! What a weird... Oh, look, 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 lads, 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 like... Oh, it's a poo dungeon. I'm also... What the hell's going on? I'm, I don't know what's going on there. A black slime. Ah. There's a chest in there. That's, a, that's, that's actually one of the regular dungeons as well, isn't it? Kill. What the hell is going... 
sight was that? Oh, it's a some sort of poo grenade? Oh, I think I've seen those before. Energy javelin. Nah. Yes, I do. Stay there. I'm fed up of you now. What is all this stuff? Let's see what... Oh, here we go. Um, I've got biospores. Great bioluminescent property that gives us many utilities in your laboratory creations. Ooh. Let's do a bit of a dig down. Umbral dirt. That's what this is. Disgusting umbral dirt. Regular starbound, randomly generated creatures by the looks of it. Oh, so this isn't nearly as deadly as... Oh, hello. <laughs> Some big buggers over there. Oh, I need a torch. Where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> Lost myself for a second there. I wonder if they knew... They might be new, those. Uh-oh. They've seen me. Um, let's do a... Oh, poison! Oh, <laughs> that tricked you. Status effects all over the place at the moment. Uh, oh, God, it's some... Ah! Lads! Phew, I'm safe. What's, what's down here, then? That looks like it's a... Uh, that looks like it's not complete. Looks like there's a problem with the generation there, because that's... Yeah, that looks like a weird thing. Do really want to go down there. Oh, I did... Uh... It just seems to be empty space. I'm getting out of there. Well, that was peculiar. Oh, I pressed control at some point. Yeah, let's not go back to that planet. That planet's poo. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit empty. A strange sea. Potentially lethal. Good, let's go there. I like this potentially lethal what-the-hell-is-going-on stuff. Oh, with the stuff I've got, I can now make a clothing fabricator, so let's just quickly do that. Yeah, another new quest! Content! Uh -huh. Clothing fabricator, we can put that on the wall. And some poo! God damn it. Let's put the poo there. Let's, let's, let's put it on the fridge. <laughs> fridge poo. The best kind. And loads... Oh, hello, a boxing glove. Helms, shields, mannequins. Ah, okay, so it's fairly similar to the... um. The, uh, the existing crafting stations in Starbound, just slightly posher and containing more things. None of which you can really craft at the moment. Right, so let's have it take another look downstairs in the Sea of Tranquility. Actually, probably not. Oh, look at this! This is pretty. Oh, it's all red. What is it? Pure honey! Lads, it's a notion of honey! Oh! I could actually get quite a lot of this stuff. I can, I can make all sorts of food now. Ooh. Mainly honey-based, admittedly. What have I done? Oh, hello. Some sort of, um, bomb ant. Huh. So what's all this stuff, then? Bone meal and rough stone. Not particularly useful. Is that, is that actually honey? Oh, dear. Oh, dear God. That was not honey. That was just... What actually is that? Honey. Oh, I am actually in some kind of... I am actually in... Oh, I can't see a thing. There we go. Oh dear, that's poison! Oh dear. Yeah, that soon that honey went turned to poison very quickly. Only ten percent of pixels lost. This lost. This is a casual character. Good old spoiler ape. Oh, where's? Oh, that was a that was a stupid planet. A stupid planet. Okay, so we're on our way to some sort of weird crystalline planet now. Um, I'm most intrigued by this booze kit, which is new. I've just learnt to craft. Um, need. An empty glass bottle, so presumably from the furnace. Empty glass bottle. Oh god, two different kinds. Alright. Um, how many did I can't remember how I needed it. Oh, I can only make one. Ah, oh, <laughs> needed one. Uh, booze kits, I actually do need loads of empty glass, so we'll have to do some top hole crafting, I think. Da -da 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 -da. How many do I actually need? I need... Hmm. Maybe I'll need a bit more of that. 486 is possibly a bit too much. Uh, so now let's make some more glass bottles. And then we can make this booze kit and see what's up. So, I think this mod does have star booze as a as like a, a, a packaged mod. And also something to do with bees as well. Uh, <laughs> if you really want to go on side quests and things. Right, let's make a home brewing kit. And we can bung that over here. So, let's see what this actually does then. Oh my god, there's loads of stuff! My god, a machine that allows distillation of alcohol, more alcohol, 
squeeze juice from fruits, a vat to make mash, champagne bucket. Oh, there's. Oh, we can make a pub sign, lads. Yay! Hooray for pub. Uh, yeah. Also, so much other stuff as well. Oh, right. Okay, let's see what this planet is like. Apparently there's all sorts of mineable crystal ores to get. Oh, it's dark again. This keeps on happening. Purple crystal block moonstone. Let's go downstairs. It looks a bit brighter down, down here. Oh, we've got some really cool crystalline music as well from the, the fracking music mod. Huh. Oh my god, it's pretty. Look at that. Oh, this is slightly turned, it looks like a slightly different biome. Oh, hello. Uh, this is impenetrable? For some reason? I wonder what that is then. Ideally, apparently, you do um, start with a fresh character, but you can use your existing one. And I did so, like, try and throw away all the kind of anything advanced that I got. Um, oh, it's, it's raining stuff. Oh, it's raining purple. Lads, it's raining purple. Why is it raining purple? Oh, it's daytime as well now. Uh oh, there's a mate. What the? Gravity went all strange. Oh, it's gravitying me. Or degravitying me. Huh. Hello, mate. This might actually be a reg totally regular bloody dungeon. Oh, I'm not sure if this is some um, vanilla Starbound stuff or not. Well, we'll say hello. Oh, it's a bloody. It's a regular ape dungeon. Oh. That's disappointing. Ah! <laughs> uh, uh. I don't think actually. Oh! That was poor. Oh my god, there's millions of the buggers. And also, there's a great big. Uh, <laughs> not for long, there isn't. Oh, they're all over the place! Oh god, this is this is peculiar. Ah! 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 Get out of here! Come on! Help! Help! I'm going in a tent. <laughs> Although I, I'm actually drowning whilst I recover. Uh, lads, run for it! Ow! Poopy. Uh, oh, bi bioluminescent biome. Sort of. Ow! Well, I got a, I got massively attacked, so I, um, I had to beam out. Uh, let's see what my inventory looks like these days. Uh, I've got loads of crystals. Oh, okay, empty grass bottles. I hardly picked up anything of use there. Hardened carapace. Uh, but I've still got bioluminescent spores and venom samples and things like that. So that's all to the good. But yeah, that planet didn't prove massively fruitful. So let's see where else we uh, we have to. Basic moons. Thing of gases. This is a blue star, by the way. Oh, but a nice volcanic one. Um, however, I do actually think I do have... Um, my legacy EPP from before I installed the mod is actually a cooling one. So I could go to hot planets if I wanted, but they do tend to be nuts strong. I don't really want to go to an asteroid. Ooh, and a frozen planet, that's also regular stuff. So let's go a bit further afield, see what else is out here. Gas giant. Infernus worlds! Exceptionally deadly. Um, extreme level 7. Pyrite ore detected. Deadly heat protection. Yeah. And scorched planet. What's that little one? Tidal one? Unusual rare resources detected on the ocean floor. Recommended poison protection. Not necessarily an EPP. I wonder if I can actually craft some um, antidote. Um, took me a while. Um, not too long, thankfully. Um, but yes, look. Poison antidote. So let's try to see if this works against the poison. In fact, let's actually move. Um, where is it? Let's actually go to the planet whilst we're doing this. So I think I need um, a regular empty bottle. Just one. And poison antidote. And we have actually picked up a venom sample, just one, at some point. So we can craft one poison antidote. So we'll have one go at this, which should be about, I think, five minutes. And a furnace. Can I upgrade this? Oh no, I just need one bit of extra glass. Let's quickly do that. Uh, glass. One bit of glass, and then we can upgrade that. Hooray! Not quite sure why I did that. Um, oh, it's oh, tungsten ore. Oh, finally, we can actually use the um, the two bits of bloody tungsten ore that I've got. That's useful. Oh, here we go. We've um, we've arrived. 
Oh, look at that poo. God damn it. Actually, I'm going to need a bigger ship, aren't I? Uh, this is the biochem lab, uh, which is one of the uh, uh, another one of the earlier things. It's trying to make me uh, make mulch. Um, we need nutrient paste, which I believe um, you have to use. You have to put in dirt into this. I think this is something that it teaches you. But again, I don't even have actually got the dirt at the moment. So anyway, let's see what this is. Oh shit! I didn't take the antidote. Well, fine. <laughs> Corruption. Well, I've taken the antidote. Oh, though I can't actually breathe underwater, though, can I? Oh. God damn it. <laughs> what she is? Mare stone. Coral. Oh, I can I can make things with the coral stuff. And now I can craft dark water. Ah. Well, there's not really much I can do here other than make great big long builds that go down into the earth. How do I actually breathe underwater, then? Uh, there must be a simple way of doing that. Okay, let's have a very quick look down here, see if we can actually get down before anything happens. In fact, I might even be able to. Oh, this is incredibly hard to mine. Damn it. Yeah, this is... Oh, this is lit burning. Ah, burning! It's burning! It's, it's something. Let's just not say there. <laughs> I don't think anything was good down there. Right, that might be a bit too advanced for me at the moment. <laughs> uh, while we fly off to a, I think it's a wasteland planet I'm going to now. I am finally going to get round to doing the mulch thing. Um, now I've got a bit more dirt. Put that in there. Extraction lab. They should turn to, yeah, there we go. Nutrient paste. Which is important. I think. Yeah, let's um, take that out again. Now we've got some of this. This is where, oh hello. You can also place food. Yeah, we've already done that. So that's fine. Yep. Oh, hello. What's also? Um, I've already done the methanol thing. Yeah, because I must have skipped one. Yeah, uh, and then there's more stuff as well. So nutrient paste. Now we can go here. Make some mulch out of nutrient paste and plant fiber. Great for fertilizing a hydroponics tray. Oh, we go. Yet another quest. Um, scientist pants. I I've got for some reason mulch. Mulch Editor FU Master Chemist Collection. Oh, hang on. Also, there's some... Fuck knows what. It's too much stuff. So, does that mean there's a new collection? No, it isn't. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I thought there might be something in there. I could also put my, um, my science pants on. Which are... There we go! I am now science! I'm even more science! Yes! It's science ape now! Anyway, let's go downstairs. <laughs> uh, this is apparently bandits are rampant here. Oh, it's dark again! Well, it has brightened up a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, yeah, it has brightened up a lot. Uh, see, I'm seeing a lot more bigger um, creatures in this in this game, just um, lower down, because you don't, only usually see those big ones um, high up. Yeah, there's loads of them. Huh. Well, I think it's very, this is very much like a scorched place, isn't it? Only everything's incredibly red. What is all this stuff? This is this feels scorched. Wrecked locker. Probably been on the booze. Oh, I can't get out of here. Oh. Right. So apparently there are minerals and things. Well, not very good minerals. This is fairly straightforward stuff on this planet. And it's a dungeon... It's not. Ooh, this is... don't even remember seeing this sort of thing before. This might be a new thing. A nice little sort of... Well, uh, hasten, I, don't, I don't really want to call it a micro-dungeon, but it's that sort of thing, I guess. There's a sign. There's a big bird. This is the reddest place in the world. And also there's lots of those horrible little crawly things flapping about the place. Don't like them. Let's get my torch out. What's down there? Huh. And a nice little basic old chest. What's this? A wrecked generator. Again, I'm sh not sure if this is a um, base. What the hell is this? What is this tar? Well, whatever it is, it's hurting. Oh, it is. It's tar. I'm being tarred. There's tar rain. Um, and it's it is actually hurting. So let's go underground. Corruption. You corrupt prick. 
Everything's corrupt. What's this stuff? I don't know, but I've actually run out of inventory space already. Let's see what it is. Wrecked platform. Brittle junk. <laughs> God damn it. Oh yeah, this is all very scorched. Um, let's get out of here, I think. Well, I hope that's given you a flavour of the mod. Um, you may have already seen this yourself before. I just wanted to have a quick play around with it myself. Let's just return to the science outpost. Uh, the science outpost does have loads of quests and things. So, oh bloody hell, that was <laughs> loads of quests you can do. So it is, it's it's not a trivial mod. I mean, it, it is it is sort of replacing a lot about the game. Oh wait, what was this? <laughs> I've forgotten that quest. What that quest actually was. Let's see what's in my reward bag. If anything of any importance. Uh, huh. A teleporter core. Learn to craft all sorts of new versions of teleporters. Ooh, cool. So I may return to this in future videos. And by I'm aware, because this is um, very sort of like along the same lines as the original game, I don't really want to do just like a video after video of me doing lots of crafting and digging for us. Um, it's not always the best thing in the world, but I'm, I'm sure there's, there's, there does seem to be a hell of a lot of other stuff to do. So I'll, I'll see how it goes anyway. So thanks for watching, this has been Jamie from randomizeduser.com. What's this? Quantum Reactor? God only knows what this is. <laughs> yeah, so subscribe for future Starbound content and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.